All I right, mean, so after last night, I think it's more than fair to ask this next question here. We'll start with you, Matt. If you're starting a franchise today and you had to pick someone, 25 or under, who are you starting with? There's a lot of guys to pick from. I hate this. I mean, there's <laughs> Jason Tatum. I mean, there's Luka. There's Ja. There's uh, Trey. Trey Young. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Luka only for the fact that these athletic guys scare me. You know, especially, too, because he's a smaller guy, and that, that ground is undefeated. AI would tell Ja, that ground is undefeated. We've seen a lot of guys that are really, really athletic, and I'm just, you know, I'm going to want to knock on wood. I hope he stays healthy his entire career. But if I'm building something and starting with something, I need someone bigger and, and, and that I know they can kind of take that night in, night out beating. Not that Ja can't, but like I said, those airbound guys scare me sometimes. Yeah, and I think a question to at least give more credit to Ja is what does your franchise want, right? Does it need energy? Does it need new life? I mean, what Ja has done for Memphis Incredible. is exactly what you want. And if I'm looking at that long list, I think a lot of people will say Luka because we know exactly who Luka Doncic is. Ever since he entered the league, he's averaged about 26, 8, and 8. We know Luka. But there's absolutely a case to be made for John Morant to be the most improved under 25 that we've seen the last few years. Because he came into the league average, I believe, what, around 18 points. And then next year, 19, and now we're seeing 27.5. And they're third in the West, probably around third overall. That is remarkable. So, Ja, you know, his – I hate – why do I have to say this? Give people their flowers. But what he's been able to do for Memphis, it aligns with the franchise over than, you know, what we say, Luca and all that stuff. I, I think that those first four guys that we saw on that list are very close, Tatum, Luca, mm -hmm. uh, Trey, and Ja. I think what separates them is, to me – John Moran is already a natural born leader. Like we're seeing that in real time. And that's no disrespect to any of those other guys, but I feel like he has taken the reins of that leadership role with this particular team, which doesn't have a lot of vets on it. And it's interesting too, because when you say leader, you're seeing people playing basketball and being happy. Right? Uh, the Celtics have gone through some things. You know, they've yeah. been in the playoffs, though. So you yeah. might say, does leadership trans translate to playoffs? Uh, Trey Young going to the Eastern Conference Finals. Like, there's leadership there, but what you're seeing holistically from a team perspective, I hear you on job. Did we see how young that list is? Crazy. And how great <laughs> Crazy. the NBA is. I mean, the NBA is in great hands, and I'm sure that list was missing a few guys, but that's a lot of young, very talented people yeah. who are already on the yeah. map. And Zion, who we've only seen play 85 games to this right. point, and hopefully we'll see him play more. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.